Hey, New Hope, Pastor Brian here. Wanted to give you a quick word of encouragement and a challenge. First of all, I wanna say that for the past year and a half, I have been a part of a small group here at church, and it's really been a great thing to be a part of. Uh, we've seen some new friendships established, been able to pray for each other and things that are going on in our lives. Uh, we've grown in our faith, um, had a ton of fun, laughed together. So I highly recommend that you join a small group here at church. So today, take a moment and go to the church's website under the tab called Ministries. You'll see a drop-down menu, and the first one on the top is Groups. So click on that, go there, you can find out more information about groups, and ultimately you can fill out some information and submit it and um, be on that track to join a group um, here at church. I highly recommend you do it. It's, it's very good. So in my group that I'm a part of, we've been going through the book of Acts. Last week, we started on chapter 6, and it's a very short chapter, but in chapter 6 is where we are introduced to Stephen, and we begin to learn about him and his life. Um, and in the New Testament, there are two words for crown. The first one is diadema, and which means royal crown. And from this, we get the English word diadem. And the second one is stephanos, which means victor's crown. And this gives us the popular name of Stephen. So you can inherit a diadema, uh, a royal crown, but you have to earn a stephanos, the victor's crown. That's what you have to earn. In Acts chapters 6 and 7, they are focusing on the ministry and ultimately the martyrdom of Stephen. And in Revelation 2.10, it says this, Be faithful, even to the point of death, and I will give you the crown of life. If you think about Stephen, he was faithful in life and even until death. And I think he's a great example for you and I today. And I think that Stephen was faithful because of what had filled him, what was filling him up. In chapter 6, there's some verses that describe Stephen. In verse 3 and 10, it says that he was full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom. In verse 5, it says that he was full of faith. And in verse 8, it says that he was full of power. Think about that. He was filled with all of those. Stephen was filled with, he was controlled by the Spirit, by wisdom, by faith, by power. Stephen had yielded his life to God, and the result was a fruitful life, a faithful life and ministry. If you and I want to be faithful to God, we need to look at what is filling us. So that's my question to you today. What is filling you? Is it distractions from this world or is it the Holy Spirit? Is it God's wisdom? Is it God's power? Is it the faith that comes from God and putting our trust in him? Is that what is filling you today? Listen, let's be faithful to God. Let's stand true to Jesus Christ no matter what is taking place. And in doing so, you will earn the Stephanos, the victor's crown. And you'll hear, well done, my good and faithful servant. Let's pray. God, we thank you that you are so faithful to us. Would you give us the power of the Holy Spirit, the wisdom, the, the faith, the strength that we need to remain faithful to you, no matter what is taking place in our world, no matter the circumstances that surround us, that we would remain faithful. God, we know that it isn't always easy, but would you please give us that strength that we need to remain faithful. We love you and we thank you. In your mighty name we pray, amen. New Hope, have a great week. We're praying for you. Hope to see you on Sunday.